Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We've been talking a lot about these Android-based smartwatch phones, the standalone units that use their own SIM card to make telephone calls, but don't really link up to your uh, cell phone in a tethering kind of way. But they have amazing capabilities to install apps from the Google App Store. And when you do that, you have basically the functionality that you have on your phone on your watch. We're going to take a uh, test drive of some of those apps and to start with I'm going to whet your appetite with something that's under development and very soon will be released in a way that will work beautifully on the watch. It already does a darn good job. You know how you have to load up the Google thing and say OK Google and then tell it what you want it to do? Well, how about this? Open News. That's it. Tap one button and you're at it. Now the nice thing about this, it's not always listening for you to say something. And that's fine on a phone with a mega battery in it, but with a, a watch, eh, you want to conserve your battery power as much as you can. So having an app that only listens when you touch it, but is accurate in what it does. Open Guardian. That's really a, a, a major asset for the watch environment. So we are jumping in and out of a few different apps, as you can see. One of the nice things about some of these different news sources is that you have a scalability factor that lets you set the font size larger than normal, which is what I've done here so that it's actually readable on your arm. When you get into the article, you see how it's laid out and much better than if it's really tiny font. So when you're looking for news readers, make sure that you have the ability to change the font if you're going to use it on the watch. Okay, what else can we do? Let's take a look. Let's wander through. Anyway, we'll be getting back to that later. Uh, we have various assistants we'll also be talking about. There's one called Assistants, AIVC. Um, Tippy Tipper, I just stuck that in there because when I'm out shopping and, and making a purchase, I like to be able to get to it quickly. So if you have a meal and that's your price, you can come down and calculate what your tip is at 18%. You set what your baseline percentage is and what your total is. You have the ability to slide that up and down. Really great service. You want to go to 26%. There you go. You can slide it any which way you want if you can hit the button. I want to show you the round feature so I need to change it off of something magic, magically getting the exact amount. There you go, a uh, tip of 19% on a 5476 but you want to round that. You can round it down, you can round it up. You can split it and it's big enough to read on the watch, okay? Tippy tipper. There's a lot of tip calculators out there, but this one really works well for the watch. Some more assistance. There's your standard Google and the smart voice, which is kind of tied in with the Google. Um, your basic email, text. I use Text Plus. If you haven't uh, tried Text Plus, it's amazing. It works on all your devices. If somebody sends me a text to my Text Plus account rather than an MMS or an uh, SMS regular text message, it rings on all my devices, and if they're not turned on, when I launch them, it loads everything up from the cloud so I can keep track of what's going on. So if I'm just with my watch, I get my messages. If I'm with my tablet, my phone, all of that works, Apple or Android. And Umail is a substitute um, voicemail system that I can use to play back my voice messages right on the screen, file them away, all that good stuff. Anyway, I highly recommend these on any platform. Standard email, of course, which works with, of course, the Google Gmail accounts. Different cameras and camera apps. We'll get back with that, but the Nexus camera works. Open camera works on this particular watch. You have your gallery and videos for playback. And AndroVid Plus is an amazing uh, editing app uh, that you can do on your phone or even on your watch. For browsers, of course, Chrome, the in default installed browser, and Dolphin. Those are the ones I typically use. We're not going to go into all of these. Audio, you have a music player and a sound recorder, so you can uh, do those kind of things. In terms of radio, oh, there's a whole slew of them out there. 
But I really like Django. It's easy to use. It's in and out. There aren't very many commercials, and you can make your playlists. TuneIn Radio gives you the access to all your radio stations streaming live. So you don't need that funky FM thing built into it with a wire that has to work as an antenna. Just stream it over your 2G, actually, or, or in a Wi-Fi zone. TurboTube is the substitute for YouTube. I use that quite a bit because it actually uh, buffers the videos into the phone. So if you have a slow connection, and you do, if you're uh, not on Wi-Fi, they'll play much more smoothly without a lot of... Um, a lot of starts and stops. Analog clock, that's a fun one. Da, 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 da. Come back here, you. Open analog clock. I just like showing this off. I am so impressed with this, and the developer is very responsive. So we're going to see what we can do with that later on. Uh, you're going to really like it. There you go. I've got myself an analog clock that's really sweet. So if I turn it off, and I turn it on. There's my standard one, but I showed you before in another, another video how you can load up different ones. But I can swipe that and be on that clock. I know, kind of geeky, but it's fun. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Just LED is a program that lets you put in words and stream them across the screen really big. Uh, so you can hold your watch up to somebody and flash them across the room and say, let's meet outside or can't wait to. Yeah. Anyway, you can do whatever you want with it. You can go slow or fast. It's really nice. There's a lot of these kind of streaming LED type programs, but the one that works well for the watch is called Just LED. And of course, Astral 3D. Well, where would we be without Astral 3D? There are all sorts of different visuals that you can stream into to help you get through that long Starbucks line and get your coffee. And afterwards, with your coffee, they'll go even faster. Amazing little app, Astral 3D. They have individual ones. If there's some that you actually like better than others, uh, you can just download those or you pay a little bit and get the whole package. We looked at some of the news readers. Again, Guardian and, and News work well. Flipboard works fine on the watch. Uh, a few others. Drippler. I have told you about Drippler. I highly recommend you subscribe to Drippler. A lot of the apps you'll see here and on your uh, phone come from reviews by Drippler. They're an amalgamator. They collect what other people are writing about, but they do an excellent job of uh, looking things over and finding the, the stuff that really works. So... Install Drippler and you'll be on top of the best apps. Pocket, you definitely want Pocket and it links and synchronizes with your Pocket account. Within Pocket, not only can you save articles to Pocket, but there's a ability to listen to your articles. I don't know if you knew that, but you can turn on the listen mode and just listen to uh, your watch. Democracy Now! because hey, why not? Stitcher is a really good source for listening to your streaming uh, whatever podcasts, audio pa uh, podcasts, and NPR One. Everybody has their likes and dislikes in news, and that's what I've loaded up. This calms me down. The breathing zone is really powerful. So is this other one. Insight timer is a like a meditation timer that you bring it up and it makes a gong sound and uh, it'll count down for however many minutes you set and then it'll gong and get you out of whatever you're doing. But uh, this breathing zone is something. We'll take a look at these kind of things in a different video where we can spend more time with them along with these relax type things. So. In the high-paced world that we live in, we may need some time to have nice, soft sounds and nice breathing apps that bring us back and ground us. The Oracle thing lets me go in and ask the I Ching or check the destiny cards or look at astrology. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff and they all work here. Different calculators for regular basic calculator and yeah, you probably know what a P tracker is. Different games. I showed you ground effect on this particular watch. It's really, really good. Uh, check it out. And um, this has the gyroscope 
type thing in it, the gravity monitor, whatever it does, you can fly that little thing. This is the only watch I've found so far that does. Different time things for alarms and clocks and calendars and whatnot. Your phone stuff for making calls, your contacts and messaging. If you have your SIM card in there, it's not linking to the stuff in your cell phone. This is not a tethering watch. This is a standalone, okay? Your social social stuff fast is a Facebook replacement and this is something for looking at photos and and blogs on Twitter and moon in case you want to know what phase the moon is in that's my little dip into astrology astronomy uh, tried to put the uh, astronomy programs that look at the stars and well look at the background screen that's about what they look like so you hold your watch up and you look at the sky and you see a bunch of dots in both places and I guess if you know what you're looking at you probably could find it, but I don't think this is sophisticated to give you that 3D look at the stars where you point it up to try to find Jupiter and it directs you to it. That's pushing it, but um, you can load those things up and look at the, the stars in the sky. Different file managers for downloading. Um, Unclouded is great if you don't have that. That's like a file manager, but it's a file manager for all of your different uh, external accounts, your cloud accounts. The nice thing about this, if you're trying to copy something to the clipboard and you know you say save as or open in, uh, op unclouded gives you an option to save it to a uh, clipboard and then you can paste it later. Of course, we're going to do way better than that soon. I'll show you that. But in the meantime, unclouded on your phone or your uh, watch is great. Tethering, the remote camera we talked about in another uh, review uh, where you can link your watch and your phone and use one as a trigger for the other for taking picture. SW app, smartwatch app link is coming along and it's going to give us more tethering capability from a standalone watch. Once this is really ironed out and you can work a standalone as a tether to your cell phone by Bluetooth when you're out and about, you really won't need to put a SIM card in here and add all that to your, your uh, phone bill. You can just simply link to your phone and use it that way, but uh, do all of the other functions on Wi-Fi that you see in here. Navigation apps, you know, the Google Street View link to the maps, the MyTracks where you can track your stuff. Yes, it has GPS installed and different kind of readers that will read things out loud to you. So you paste them in and you just let them go and read them. I'm testing these right now. You really don't need seven of them, but uh, we'll hone in on some of the really good ones and, and keep them. Uh, speech type things that do the opposite. They listen to your voice and they turn it into words. But we've got something really special coming that will make all these obsolete. That first app that I showed you. Oh, wait, wait and see. It's going to be great. Voice are the different installed um, voice simulations that I've got. Female, male. The witch voice is really interesting. If you want to have fun, download the witch voice and let it read uh, some of what you, you type or, or import. Some more voices from Ivona. Uh, lots of good stuff. Again, it works on your watch, works on your phone. And we have uh, different voice search apps as well. So, you know, a lot of stuff in here. Different keyboards installed. Uh, they leave an icon behind. I got to put them somewhere. So there they are. If I delete the icon, it uninstalls the keyboard. So they're there. System apps, utilities, different utilities. You know, a virus checker, cleaning up, backup is, comes with this one. Um, the speed test, your GPS test, all those basic kind of stuff. Sliders are the ones that let me control the brightness from the keyboard. See where it's 100% there? Well, it's hard to do bent over like this, but there I can, I can even go negative brightness and control how bright the screen is using display brightness. And lazy swipe is the one that lets me slide up from the corner and have access to tools and favorites. We've done reviews on these already, so that's what's in there. And your basic settings. Uh, here's where 
MobyZen lies. You definitely want to download MobyZen and go to MobyZen.com that lets you link your phone to your computer or tablet and control your phone basically from that device. Uh, the settings for your screen off and in your Google uh, stuff and of course the magical Play Store. Notice I'm almost up to the end. I go here. I got my basic camera, but it's way at the end. That's all right, because I loop right back again. So my basic home screen's here. I can go flip to the left, and these are things that I use a lot. Now let me leave you with this as a teaser. Thank you for watching Smartwatch Ticks, and I hope you'll subscribe and come back again soon to see what I'm doing right now in more detail. Period. Aloha. Goodbye. Au revoir. Without starting with a keyword, all of that got copied to the clipboard. Now, launching this special notes program, what I can do is tap and hold, bring up the paste bar, and look, what I just spoke is pasted into the notes program. Now, this is really interesting because that same app, if I preceded it with open, opened any app I wanted to on my device. But if I start speaking without using a keyword, and there's a few others, when I'm done, it will automatically copy it to the clipboard and allow me then to paste it into wherever I'd like. Like this note program, which we're also going to tell you about because it's really special. You not only can put in words, but there's a camera icon down here that lets you import a picture. And when you're done with this note, all you got to do is swipe it up, See where it says push up to send underneath my thumb? I don't think I pushed it far enough. There we go. Release to send. And it's now sending my note to my email, including the picture if one were attached, Dropbox, Google Drive, and a few others if I wanted to set them up that way. It's off my watch and it's out into the cloud. Really nice. So that's an overview, a quick tour of some of the apps that you can install on a smartphone. This is not Google Wear. This is not iWatch. This is a standalone Android smartwatch phone. Thanks for watching.